the way of the cross. Most merciful God, who by the death and resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ, delivered and saved the world, grant that by faith in him who died upon the cross, we may triumph in the power of his victory. Amen. Jesus is condemned to death. Again the high priest asked him, Are you the Messiah, the Son of the Blessed One? Jesus said, I am. The prisoner, looking beyond his captors, said little in his own defence, responding only in honesty and truth. Because of this, they had already agreed his guilt. Jesus carries his cross. After mocking him, they stripped him of the robe and put his own clothes on him. Then they led him away to crucify him. Condemned, he was taken away by force at dawn. Having beaten him, they led him away for execution to a place beyond the city limit. First fall, Peter was sitting in the courtyard. A servant girl said, You also were with Jesus the Galilean? But he denied it. Weakened, his footsteps faltered as he stumbled, hand outstretched, fearful for the ground. His friend watched the Galilean fall and said, Nothing. A mother meets her son. Simeon had said to his mother Mary, This child is destined to be a sign that will be opposed, and a sword will pierce your own soul too. Prevented by force of arms from coming too close, a mother seeks her son, the disappeared one, taken from her in the night. Simon helps to carry the cross. They seized a man, Simon of Cyrene, and they laid the cross on him and made him carry it behind Jesus. Unable to walk on alone, a man is taken from the crowd and told to help him. There is no choice. Condemned men must die at the appropriate place for the sake of the people. His face is wiped by Veronica. A great number of the people followed him, and among them were women who were wailing for him. Sweating with exhaustion from his ill-treatment, he pauses for breath. A woman, ignoring personal risk, wipes his face with a cloth. Her kindness done, she becomes again another person, one among many street side faces on a Friday morning. The second fall. Again, Peter denied it with an oath. I do not know the man. Peter was a fearful man, and he acted out of fear. His denial was our denial day after day, year after year. Say, 
Sometimes we too claim that we do not know you, fearful of the cost. Maybe tomorrow, Lord. Maybe it'll be easier then. The women of Jerusalem meet him. Jesus turned to them and said, Daughters of Jerusalem, do not weep for me, but weep for yourselves and for your children. Lord, too often women have raised their voices at the folly of men. Too often they have been ignored. May we, their children, listen to their words and their cries, and hearing them, hear you. The third fall. Peter began to curse. I do not know the man. At that moment the cock crowed. Then he remembered what Jesus had said. Lord, time and again we almost make it, and then dejected and disheartened we realise our failure. Even then, Lord, you are with us. It is time we were moving. It is time to start again. Jesus is stripped. They divided my clothes among themselves, and for my clothing they cast lots. Stripped, he is prepared for public shame. Bruised, he is silent. With shoulders bared, he accepts the inevitable. Besides, the crowd is waiting. Jesus is nailed to the cross. When they came to the place that is called the skull, they crucified Jesus there. Lord, the hammering of nails has echoed across this earth as we repeatedly crucify you, man against man, nation against nation. Yet from that cross of suffering, with failing voice you have called, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they do. Father, forgive us. Jesus dies on the cross. It was now about noon, and darkness had came over the whole land until three in the afternoon, while the sun's light failed, and the curtain of the temple was torn in two. Then Jesus, crying with a loud voice, said, Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. Having said this, he breathed his last. Jesus is taken down from the cross. Joseph of Arimathea asked Pilate to let him take away the body of Jesus. Pilate gave him permission. Lifeless, his savaged body lay once again in the caring arms of his mother. Journey over. Task complete. Failure in the sight of men. The Burial of Jesus They took the body of Jesus and wrapped it with spices in linen cloths, according to the burial custom of the Jews. Lord, it is over. The way of the cross has been walked. The story has been told and prophecy fulfilled. What now, they must have asked, as they walked away into the chill night air. Resurrection Jesus said to her, Mary. 
she turned and said to him in Hebrew, Rabboni. Rabboni, we did not trust you. We did not understand. We thought it was over. No, my people, it has just begun. We glory in your cross, O Lord, and praise you for your mighty resurrection. For by virtue of your cross, joy has come into our world. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. <laughs>